Who called the decorator? Where did where did this guy come from? Where did this all start? Look at that. It's nice there with the leaves. Got your hat. Got your background. Oh wow. Oh cool. You got a jersey. Now this this is what Leafs timeout should look like. This is what we're looking for. Perfect. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Ryan from Seaway Sports Lounge, and tonight we're going to be talking about the Maple Leafs and the Washington Capitals. This is the review of Game Two. My thoughts: how I thought the game looked, how I was was I happy? Not. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to go through that with you in this video. We're going to look at the breakdown of each period. Of course, we're going to I'll give you my thoughts about those takeaways, and then the general impressions of the game. So with that, let's just get right into it. So the Leafs played the Capitals, and they won three to two tonight. So their first victory of the season it was at home which is great fans i have to say the fans were very nervous including myself a little bit the maple leafs had a very poor outing in montreal the 24 hours before the media the fan base everybody was kind of on edge a little bit i mean a number of people it was not a fun time people had a lot of questions they wondered what happened against montreal anyway apparently according to sheldon keith they had a team meeting today game two of a season and they had a team meeting so clearly there were things that had to be said to the team and vice versa, I'm sure. And apparently a lot was actually discussed. So clearly there was many things they didn't care. For. So obviously this carried into the game and we they were obviously very nervous and they were probably hoping that they would get a better effort. And boy, did they ever have a better effort. Much better game, but we'll go into that in a bit. So they won 3-2 to two, and they also uh, outshot the Capitals 39-26. Much more concerted shot totals that we're kind of used to as Maple Leaf fans. And anyway, and Samsonov got his first start as a Maple Leaf. So he played his old team. He was on Washington last year. So it was interesting to see how that would go. But anyway, in the first period, of course, starts off with Alexander Ovechkin hitting the post. I mean, that kind of sets the tone for everything. And then John Tavares ended up scoring on the power play. He got nice assists from Riley and Marner. That power play was very dominant on that particular sequence. Toronto basically had the puck the entire time. It was awesome to watch. Anyway, great goal from Tavares. Of course, very, very in his spot where he always gets right beside the net. Very typical John Tavares goal, so that was awesome to see. And then after that, uh, Toronto kind of had a few penalties, and Washington started to put their game together. Anyway, they ended up scoring two goals within about maybe three to four minutes each. Anyway, safe to say those goals were pretty average to weak. Uh, Samsonov would have had him. I know for sure one, at least the second one he should have had. That was from that was from Marcus Johansson. Anyway, it went right by his blocker. I thought that was a very savable goal. That's what happened. Anyway, he went into the intermission with a two to one being down two to one. And Maple Leafs did put up a little pressure near the end, but it didn't amount to anything. Second period came and Leafs newcomer, uh, newcomer Cali uh, Yarnrock, he ended up getting his first goal of the year. Kerfoot sent a nice pass to him. He just, he just put it right by Lindgren, their goaltender. And Riley, of course, got the assist. Now the Leafs, obviously were spoken to in this intermission i mean they dominated the capitals in that period they outshot them they outchanced them they had total control at one point uh, i don't think the capitals had hardly any shots in that period it was just a great great period to watch very very enjoyable but it didn't rally to any other goals that's basically what happened in period two now period three then i think within five minutes into the game uh into the period sorry austin matthews he ended up deflecting a shot from giordano into the net it went right by uh, right by lindgren anyway he ended up getting his first goal uh, giordano and sandine assisted on it now the leafs continued their play their their power play was very very good tonight in terms of just how it was playing they ended up, Matthews was actually getting 10 shots or over 10 shots this game. This guy was waking up. At first in the game, it looked like he was starting to not do too much, but then all of a sudden he got going, and much Marner, of course, as well. Anyway, they were both really, really good. They had both excellent efforts tonight, a good third. They finished up the game nicely. They actually had a little bit of a, a scary moment there because they actually had four penalties in a row and a number of calls that should have been called weren't or for the Maple Leafs anyway they ended up winning the game and let's it's it's just what we need right now this is what the fan base needed it's what the team needed they did what they had to do now takeaways from the game uh Leafs were far better obviously the Montreal game as I said power play was dominant they owned the Capitals for long stretches of this game uh they were very much similar to what we're used to puck possession was strong their transition game was strong they just basically 
ran the whole ice as far as I'm concerned. Capitals were not that dominant. I was not too concerned about them. They did have a few moments, but nothing really to worry about. This is basically what the Leafs hockey that we're used to, and I'm really happy that they turned it around tonight. Calmed a few nerves, calmed mine at least, and I'm very happy that that happened. One thing I will talk about is Samsonov. Obviously, he played his first game, as I said. His first period was less than stellar. Let's be honest. It was a very, very average period. He did not look good. On the two goals he let in, he was very shaky. He was very leaky. All those, you know, all those things pundits say on sports channels. But I think it was his nerves personally. I think he was facing his old team. He didn't want to let down his new team. So maybe that's what happened here. I don't know. That's just my guess. But the way he was playing, it was a very nervous look. And as the game kept going, Samsonov actually looked more dominant. And he started to look more into the form that I thought he would be anyway. And then by the end of the, by into the third period, he was just controlling the game and he, yeah, nothing went past those two goals anyway. So he, he ended up closing the game out for the Maple Leafs. Very, very solid effort uh, overall. I'm very pleased about that. So that's basically what the goaltending. Now, obviously they're going to be going into Ottawa next, the Maple Leafs. So Matt Murray will probably get the start for that facing his old team. I don't believe Samsonov will get the start. He will. So we'll see how that goes. Now, my overall thoughts of the game, I was very happy. I'm a much happier fan than I was 24 hours ago. Uh, Montreal's game was just very, very disappointing with the effort that was given. This obviously was completely different. Very, very strong game overall. Very happy to see what happened. Of course, they gave the home fans what they deserved, a proper win. And a very, very nice controlled win. It was a smart uh, set of plays, no carelessness, any of that kind of stuff. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I think we'll end it here. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, as you can see, as I said, now I have a set. Now I've put a little bit, a little bit of uh, Maple Leaf uh, apparel and all that into the picture. So I hope you liked it. Uh, if you like this video and you like what we're doing with our content, of course, please hit the like and subscribe button. For uh, notifications, please hit the notification bell on the right. And with that, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Good night.